Okay, in this video, we're doing number three from the 2023 AP Calculus AB and BC exams, and it is a differential equation problem, so let's uh, take a look. A uh, bottle of milk is taken out of a refrigerator, placed in a pan of hot water to be warm, the increasing function M, there's just a lot of information. M models the temperature of the milk at time T, M of T is measured in degrees Celsius, T is the number of minutes since the bottle was placed in the pan. M satisfies the differential equation, dm dt is one over four, quantity 40 minus M, I bet we're going to have to solve that. At t equals zero, the temperature of the milk is five degrees Celsius. So that's like an ordered pair that we're being given. Um, it can be shown that m of t is less than 40 for all values of t. Slope field is shown, and we want to sketch the solution through zero, five. So the first thing that I notice about the differential equation is the fact that it's 40 minus m means that dm dt will always equal zero if m is equal to 40. So uh, that's going to be a horizontal asymptote of any solution that we find, right? So when we go to draw our solution curve, we just have to make sure that we kind of respect that horizontal asymptote. If you look in the slope field, you can see the horizontal asymptote at 40. Um, so I'm just going to start at the point 0, 05 and kind of go with the flow. And so there you go. You're going to get a point for doing that. All right, let's look at the next part. Use the line tangent to the graph of m at t equals 0 to approximate m of 2, the temperature of the milk at time t equals 2 minutes. Uh, all right, so the first thing is that ordered pair that we were sort of given, right? T is equal to zero, M, the temperature is gonna be five. So if T is zero, then that means that M is five. We're gonna need that because we need to evaluate dm dt and we need to write our tangent line. So dm dt such that, dm dt is a function of M, so I'm gonna say such that M equals five is going to be one fourth and then it's gonna be 40 minus five, which is just gonna be 35 over four. I'm not gonna mess around with that. Last year I made a mistake by oversimplifying, so I'm not gonna simplify. Um, so 35 over four. Let's write our tangent line. So the input is time and the output is M milk. So uh, we're gonna do our tangent line will be Y minus five and then equals our slope 35 over four, the quantity T minus zero. Uh, you could simplify that, but you don't really need to. That's the equation of the tangent line. And we are supposed to approximate the temperature. So I'm going to say that m of 2 is approximately, and then just 5 plus 35 over 4 times 2. Or you could say 2 minus 0. I'm not going to simplify it. Sometimes when I simplify, I make mistakes. I don't want to make a mistake. You're not required to simplify that on the exam. Let's just leave it and move on. It's hard for me to do that. That's why I keep saying it. But I'm going to do it. I'm leaving it. Next part. Uh, write an expression for the second derivative in terms of m. Use the second derivative to determine whether the approximation from part B is an under or over estimate for the actual value of m of 2. Give a reason. All right, we got to find the second derivative. So second derivative, or rather the first derivative before we take the second derivative, just so it's written down. Now our second derivative. So this notation, I would just say the second derivative uh, is going to be. So 1 fourth is a constant multiple, and then the derivative of 40 minus m is going to be just, the derivative of 40 is 0. The derivative of negative m is negative dm dt. Don't forget the chain rule there. The derivative of m is definitely dm dt. It was given, right? So now what we'll do is just replace dm dt with the thing we were given because we have to write this in terms of m. So it'll be, I'm taking out the negative, negative 1 fourth and then dm dt, which is 1 fourth of 40 minus m. So we have this. This, I think it's actually useful to simplify a little bit to negative 1 16th and then the quantity 40 minus m. It's useful to do that because we have to draw a conclusion about over and underestimate. If you go back to the problem, we were told that m of t is less than 40 for all values of t. So we're gonna, make, uh, we're gonna use that here, right? So I'm gonna say, since uh, m is less than 40 for all values of t, that means that, I mean, think it through. You have negative 1 16th and then 40 minus m will be positive. So negative 1 16th time a po times a positive is definitely negative. So the second derivative is zero, less than zero, sorry, between zero and two for t, um, which means that our function is concave down, which means we are getting an overestimate. So I'm gonna say, so the tangent line gives an overestimate. And then if I'm not sure, which I'm always a little like worried that I haven't explained enough, I'm going to say uh, in parentheses here, m of t is concave down, right? So we showed the second derivative was negative. 
We know that means that M is concave down. We know that that means a tangent line gives an overestimate. I think we've done our job. Let's look at the next part. Uh, and you, you know, you had to expect this was coming. Use separation of variables. It's nice that they're telling you explicitly how to do it. Um, to find an expression for M of T, the particular solution to the differential equation with the initial condition. All right, step one is uh, the key, I think, to solving this. dm dt is equal to factor out the negative. You don't want to try to integrate with a negative coefficient on m or on the dependent variable. So I factored out the negative. So instead of 1 over 4 quantity 40 minus m, I have negative 1 over 4 quantity m minus 40. I'm going to separate. So everything with an m to the left, everything with a t to the right, and I'm just leaving the negative one fourth. I always leave a constant multiple on the right if I can. Uh, throw in some integral signs. On the left, we're gonna get that natural log that you get. Don't forget your absolute values. And then on the right, we'll get negative one fourth t and then plus c because we put that with the independent variable. All right, we have to solve for c, but first, because m is inside a natural log, I'm gonna exponentiate. So I'll get m minus 40 is a new value of c, so I've changed the color there, e to the negative one fourth t. That saves you from making so many mistakes. Um, just kind of getting rid of the absolute value before you solve for c. Let's solve for c. We know that m of zero is five, so we're, so whoa. So we're solving for c, kind of like threw everything out there. We're trying to solve for c. We have to plug in five for m, and we have to plug in zero for t. So we get five minus 40 equals c e to the zero. e to the zero is one, so c is negative 35. And then we'll just combine this and this into our answer. So m is gonna be 40 minus 35 is c e to the negative one fourth t. That's our answer, that's the whole question. I hope this was helpful and good luck.